Hi everyone, how are you? I'm Wendy Myers of MyersDetox.com. Thanks so much for joining me on today's Facebook Live. And today I wanna to talk to you guys about something that's uh, really, really imperative right now. I wanna to talk to you about how to detect health and immune threats early. Uh, threats to your immune system, and especially with the, the looming viral outbreak right now, I think it's really important for people to focus on strengthening their immunity in every way that they can. And also, uh, you know, avoiding things that irritate their immune system, like foods that they're sensitive to, feeding the immune system, improving its function, boosting its function, and clearing the body of, you know, infections and things that are hindering its, uh, you know, hindering immune system functioning or that are occupying bandwidth. Uh, for the immune system. So I want to talk about all those concepts in a minute and I'm going to answer all of your questions So please if you have any questions whatsoever leave a comment. I'm going to answer all of them before I leave So we're going to be talking about how to detect, how to detect health and immune threats early So we'll talk about different concepts about how I detect health issues and address them very very quickly I'll talk about how to detect your food sensitivities in a really really quick test This is what I'm doing now for my food sensitivities um, how to look at your nutritional status and deficiencies super, super fast, how to detect heavy metal and chemical toxicities, how to detect EMFs that you are sensitive to. There's different types of EMF, but some people can be more sensitive to different types. And um, if your body is grounded or not, there's a test for that also you can do. Um, also, we'll talk about how to detect autoimmune threats in your body check your immune status and detect what your immune system is fighting all in one test. And so I'm also going to talk about the concept of bioenergetics as well and how a simple biofeedback test that takes 30 seconds to detect all this information and then and how this all works. It's really, really interesting. It's very cutting edge. And uh, so first let's get, um, let's see. So let's get uh, to this first concept. So I want to talk about um, this test that I do that helps to address your uh, your immune system issues really, really fast. So it's a scan. It's called a Nest Health Bioenergetic Scan, and it's just a, a simple 30-second feedback test, a biofeedback test. And you put the, your hand on this little scanner and it does a test and it detects over almost 500 different data points and gives you a tremendous amount of information about your health. And so I'm gonna walk you guys through a scan so you can see what I'm talking about here. Okay, so there's some really, really cool stuff that this scan um, uh, helps you look at. So I'm gonna share my screen here. And so first I'm gonna bring up uh, my own scan this is my scan that I did very recently. So I'll give, uh, let me just look here really quick for it. And so I'm gonna share my screen and uh, let's see, where is the other things here? Oh, Chrome tab, there we go. So, so you can see my screen here, my scan is coming up and I wanna show you all this information that you can see on the scan. So let me show it this in the screen. So hopefully, uh, can you guys see that just right? Okay, great, yeah, so you can, hopefully you guys can see that right now. So not, can you guys see that? The solo is on, okay, there we go. So um, hopefully you guys can see this. The screen's not very big, but that's the best that I can do. So if you're looking at um, uh, there's just one screen that's so cool in here. So uh, the first one here is your environment. And so this screen, if you, uh, it can tell you a, about a lot of different immunity threats. It can tell you if you uh, are sensitive to fluoride. So this, these five purple dots, that means something that you're most sensitive to, that your body is having trouble processing or dealing with. And so, uh, so I'm having trouble with synthetic dyes that are in clothing and products and whatnot. I'm having trouble with formaldehyde. I'm having uh, trouble with, with this thing I can't pronounce. 
Um, there's different solvents that are bo bothering me as well that my body is not dealing with very well. Toxic metals, cadmium is an issue for me. It's definitely something that I have a lot of that I've been detoxing over the years. And the 2,4-D herbicide, I, I have that toxicity as well. And then you can also look at this other screen. This is this is for anyone who's done this before. These are all new. A lot of different, there's a lot of new uh, screens here. A lot of different toxins that we're testing for. Here's a fungicide that's bugging me. Um, for food, there's food toxins. Sulfites are bothering me. I already know that I cannot eat like dried food that has sulfur-based compounds for preservatives because um, I just have horrifying gas for like days afterwards. My body does not like sulf sulfites. Um, and then mold, um, I, the aqua toxin is bothering me, which was that's news to me. Um, and it, I don't know about you guys, but if you did individual tests like this, if you did a test for mold, you did maybe some EMF testing, you did some like food sensitivities testing, you did some nutrition testing, those are incredibly expensive tests and they take a long time to get, get the results back and you have to go into the lab and get the blood drawn and do all this stuff. This test is so fast. Um, it's just amazing. It gives you such a wealth of information. You can see here EMFs are bothering me and I feel that I am sensitive to EMFs so I do a lot of different things to protect like, like the pendant and I drink this uh, Wata water and this protects your body from EMF in a few different ways. Um, I'm also sensitive to blue light because probably because I'm always staring at screens trying to read about coronavirus and read about lots of stuff that I'm always reading about to, to educate you guys so I can teach you guys about all this stuff. Um, far infrared, that's bothering me. Yeah, luckily I use a near infrared sauna, but some people are sensitive to far infrared rays, ironically enough. So this will tell you that. Um, also, we'll tell you if you're sensitive to your computer, to microwaves, to your cell phone. Um, so a lot of really, really, really interesting information here, guys. So, so hopefully you guys uh, can see this. Please send me your questions. I want to answer all of your questions after this. And um, then you can go to this nutrition screen, um, all these different nutrients that your immune system needs, and, uh, and feed your body what it needs. Um, but also, uh, on another note, on the environment screen, you know, a lot of these different toxins interfere in immune system functioning. And when you do a nest scan, when you do this bioenergetic scan, and you do the protocol that the scan recommends, you really dramatically improve your body's ability to detox, improve your body's ability to deal with and metabolize and get rid of these toxins that are interfering in immune system functioning and your overall overall health and, and energy and brain function. And, and this Nest Health Scan is one of these secret weapons that I use with my clients, especially the ones that tend to be uh, more sickly, that tend to be you know uh, kind of in a, a point where they need to detox, but they just can't because they just they don't do well on detox supplements or they're sensitive to a lot of different foods or they can't tolerate supplements or whatever the issue is going on with them nest provides a great way a simple way a relatively inexpensive way compared to functional medicine where you're doing all kinds of functional medical tests and taking all different types of supplements a lot of people can't afford that and they uh, they can't take a lot of different supplements because they have sensitivities because their immune system is overreacting to everything in their environment. And this is especially the case for women. You know, women have very, uh, really good immune systems. We have better immune systems than men overall. But because of that, because we have this immune system on high alert, women suffer from, from, from all the people that have autoimmune diseases. 80% of that population is women where only 20% is men. So women really have to take more care, more, you know, more, you know, care, I guess, just care or be more aware that their immune system is uh, just on high alert and we have to care for it more so than, than men, so to speak, just in general. Um, but so these toxins uh, can be dramatically help with your body can 
really be helped by dealing with these toxins by doing a nest health program. Um, and this scan is just gives us tons of information and gives us kind of a, a guide on, uh, on how to address these things. And then if you look at the nutrition screen, this is what I love about Nest Health Bioenergetics also because this can help to guide your supplementation. And, and I've noticed that I've been doing Nest Health for almost, uh, actually three and a half years now I've been doing Nest Health. And I'm amazed at the accuracy of this because there's three screens here for nutrition. So the one for the minerals here, see zinc, I'm, I always have issues with zinc because I know that genetically I have trouble absorbing zinc. I always have all my hair mineral analyses, my zinc is really low. I just have trouble absorbing it and every scan that I do, zinc always comes up, it's always flat. And so I know that I need to focus on that. Um, so that's just one example. Here you can also see your coenzyme Q10 status, your glutathione status, superoxide dismutase or SOD, which is super important for detox. You can look at your selenium levels also. Yellow is kind of like, you don't really have to worry about that. White definitely don't have any worries at all. Um, you know, there's kind of a scan priority. White, no worries. Green, not really worried. Yellow, maybe think about getting worried. Orange and purple, you know, you need to do something about it just in general. And so you can see, you can, you can look at all your minerals here. Mine are pretty good because I'm, I'm always taking minerals. But uh, as far as this first screen, you can look at your vitam vitamins. Uh, I need some vitamin K. I need some betaine, hydrochloric acid or enzymes. Um, I need some B2 or riboflavin. And I also need to work on my omega-3s. I haven't been eating as much fish as I have um, you know, in the past, so I need to work on that. And so that's great. Now I'm aware of that. Now I'm going to go eat some more sardines. And also with this third nutrition screen, you can look at uh, my methionine levels are low, which is a really critical amino acid you need for to power a lot of detoxification processes in the body. Um, some theanine, I can use a little bit of that, and some tryptophan as well. And these are essential amino acids that people need. Um, and there's some other amino acids. I seem to be doing just fine on those. But it's good to know this stuff. It's good to you know help us guide supplementation. And then uh, this other screen here is your food sensitivities, which this is, it's just incredible how this type of technology can detect food sensitivities. So here you can look at your gluten containing grains where spelt is bothering me. And I haven't been eating spelt, but for a minute I was eating some spelt tortillas, um, thinking that those were fine, but my body is telling me, no, in fact, we don't like spelt. Um, and then some other grains, millet, saying my body doesn't like millet. But I, I tend to not have many food sensitivities. I tend to be doing really well. I think it's because I've been doing Ness for so long. Um, Ness can eventually, over time, correct immune system functioning, correct immune system overreaction, and help to remove a lot of food sensitivities where people just have less reactions to these innocuous stimuli because it's operating properly because of how this revolutionary bioenergetic program corrects immune system functioning along with other body systems as well, including absorption of nutrients, which is really key. One of the biggest reasons I, I put clients on this type of program is to improve uh, absorption of nutrients, which takes care of a whole host of issues when you're actually absorbing your food and supplements. Um, so, so this is really interesting. So you can look at the corn, the millet, oats, quinoa, rice, see what's bothering you. And on a side note, you know, food sensitivities are constantly changing. They're a constant moving target. And, you know, fixed allergies are another thing, like if you're sensitive to, you know, allergic to peanuts or shellfish, those, that's probably going to remain intact for life. But you can, uh, as far as food sensitivities are concerned, these change constantly. Where you were once sensitive to corn, six months later, you may not be. 
you know, even some people that are sensitive to gluten at some point may not be because the immune system changes. And doing this type of scan makes it really, really easy for you to constantly be navigating what's problematic for you and what isn't. You can do a scan once a month and find out what you should be avoiding that month because your body doesn't like that. And so this helps you really fine tune the food that you should be avoiding. So it's just, it's really fantastic in that regard. Um, and then the, the next page are food sensitivities that you can discover. See, I don't have any here, which I was really happy to see. Um, legumes, so beans, lentils, peanuts, peas, and soy. Tree nuts like almonds, cashews, and pistachios. Citrus fruits like uh, grapefruit, lemon, limes, and oranges. Um, no issues there, definitely because I'm eating all these all the time, and I don't have issues with those. And But these are the kind of the most common sensitivities that people will, will have. That's why they're included on these screens. And then there's another screen for food sensitivities. You can look at nightshades like eggplants, peppers, potatoes, and tomatoes. And then you can look at other kind of common sensitivities like casein, uh, which is the protein in dairy that some people can have issues with. Other people have issues with lactose, which you can see in the screen, which is the milk sugars that people have trouble digesting and get, gives them gas and cramping. A lot of people have issues with eggs. Um, histamines are also in this as well. There's a lot of histamine containing foods that are problematic for people, like in fermented foods. So that's key to know. You can also look at oxalates if those are an issue for you. Salicylates, which are in a lot of foods. Some people really have a big problem with salicylates, and they're in a lot of different foods. Um, um, sulfites as well. A lot, a lot of you know preservatives are sulfur-based, and so like wines, that can be a problem. Dried fruits. Tapioca can be a problem for some people. Tyramines, which is another kind of ingredient in some foods or a component in some foods that some people have an issue with, and they just can never figure out why their immune system is constantly overreacting. For some people, they have to eliminate tyramines. And then yeast. Yeast is one of the top 10 food sensitivities people have, so really important that that's included in this test. So pretty cool stuff. Uh, this is like this is sci-fi this is really really futuristic and um i just love it that Ness health is, has added this important information to this already incredible scan Ness health is so cutting edge they are of all the bioenergetic protocols out there they are leading the front on the research there's 20 studies that show that this type of program improves so many different factors, pain reduction, uh, improvement of sleep, improvement of energy, reduction in food sensitivities, including gluten. I mean, and there's an 85% correlation between known issues that people have and what the scan picks up. Um, it's really can be kind of freaky for some people, but for me, the same things always come up in the scan. I see this in myself when I do scans, I see this in um, other people, friends, family members, clients that do scans, and they're really kind of blown away. The scan, the scan can possibly pick up what they already know to be their health issues. But it does because everything has a frequency. Every issue, um, uh, your energetic blocks, your food sensitivities, your nutrition, this and that, everything vibrates at a certain frequency, and that can be measured, just like microwaves or EMFs or radio waves. Those are all certain frequencies that can be detected. So it's, it's no different than that. Um, and this is just a, a, a great way, uh, the scan is a great way to do this simple test that you can do at home. You don't have to go anywhere to do it. We just send you a little scanner. It looks like a little mouse. So you just plug in your computer, put your hand on it, press go, and it sends a scan to a practitioner that can review it for you and walk you through it and explain it to you. Um, so just lots of amazing information in the scan. So going back to the scan, um, you can also look at information like your circadian rhythms. So there's a day and night um, little portion of the scan here. You can look at if your circadian rhythms are in balance. 
Um, you can look at if your diet's on point, if you're hydrated, if you're getting enough movement, if you're getting enough oxygenation. Um, you can look at your polarity, like if you're grounded properly. You can look if your your body is grounded and if you need to work on that or not. My grounding is good because I drink this EMF water, which is a super super negative ion charged water to negatively charge my body, because EMF constantly acting on us gives us a positive charge, which is why it screws up our body so much. But with drinking this Wata on Aquanu.com, um, I don't have those issues. You, you can see on my skin. Um, and then we also can see in the scan um, all of our different organ systems and their relative strength, so the a relative like energy that they have. So you can see for me, I need like a little health cellular support. Maybe my heart and my kidneys um, and bones need a little bit of support. Um, you can see the energy flow. This is all of your meridians and where you have different blocks in your meridians. And guess what always comes up for me? My thyroid. <laughs> so my thyroid and my liver consistently come up in almost every single scan. Those are my weak points. Those are the things that I need to focus on. And um, you know, and so for, for you, you'll probably see if you do a scan, you'll see that you'll you'll have things come up over and over and over, and that's what you need to be focusing on. And you can also use that information to focus on supporting the thyroid or liver nutritionally as well or the detoxification of the liver or what have you whatever your your issues are it just gives you information to act on that and um and then there's a mind body screen where it's looking at your emotional trauma which is which you don't address typically with uh, you know functional or conventional medicine but emotional trauma is a huge drain on your battery Huge drain on your energy, your mental bandwidth, um, and I just found with doing this over the years, I um, my eating disorder disappeared within a very short period of time. I just was purging all this unresolved trauma that was just like this tape loop in the background that I didn't realize was affecting me. I thought I had processed it, or I just there was trauma that I wasn't consciously aware of that was picked up in the skin. I've released that over the last few years, and I just, I feel fantastic. <laughs> uh, every morning when I wake up, I feel so happy and joyous, and it's largely in part to doing uh, bioenergetic work with Ness Health. And, uh, and just, just for me, just with my bulimia just disappearing, I mean, literally within a couple of months of starting it, I've, I've had maybe one bout of that, uh, since I started Ness about three and a half years ago, and I was just at my wits end. I just didn't know how to stop it or what was driving it, and it just it just disappeared. Um, so that that was that's really speaks to me. That's something I've been dealing with since I was 16 years old. And um, so, and then we also see a a, a, a a like a screen here for immunity. So this is your your energetic immune system, which sounds kind of like a strange concept, but your, you know, your immune system doesn't just lie in your gut and um, in your lymph nodes and your lymph system and, and whatnot. Um, your your liver also has um, also has you know its own immunity cells, and your bone marrow has immune cells, and so this kind of just takes an inventory of how your immune system is functioning. And so for mine, mine is pretty clear, um, which is I'm, I'm really happy about in the scan. But I do occasionally, like one time I had a yeast infection and fungus came up. Another time I had a bladder infection and bacteria came up on the scan. Um, and so one time I had a period of like a month where I wasn't able to work out. I was just, I hurt my back and then I got sick and it was just it was a mess. And then my lymph came up in that time. Like I just wasn't having enough movement for my lymph to be flowing. And so lymph was flagged. And so I'm just always amazed at just how, how accurate the scan is. It just never ceases to amaze me. Um, a lot of times uh, cold flu immunity has come up. This is CFI on this one. Cold flu immunity came up and you know, I could have been exposed to a cold or a flu virus, and that was being flagged for me. 
that I needed, needed to address in this scan. And so um, if, if I've piqued any of you guys' interest, um, if you want to try out this scan, we're giving you guys a deal. It's just $75 off of a scan. So I want to just uh, post that in the comments here if you want to check that out. So I just posted that. Um, just so, so a lot of just incredibly interesting information in this, uh, in this little scan. Um, so that's the immunity uh, screen there. And then um, there's a lot, there's a lot other, a lot more information in the scan, but that's pretty much, uh, you know, what I wanted to review with you guys. Um, there's information in here about the other things, but we won't get into it. But bottom line, after you do a scan, you get recommended um, these infaceuticals. So the software will kind of have, look at your whole scan and be like, what are the priorities? What do we need to address right now? What do, what do we need to deal with first? And there's about 45 years of research programmed into this scan. Uh, it's just really incredible the amount of research that has gone into this software system and how what is done every year to constantly improve it, constantly make it better. Uh, it's really just mind blowing when you what, when you learn about this more and more and more. But for me, um, the, I needed about five infaceuticals here. What's being recommended to me, and so for me, what I needed was um, like right now. I'm, this is my last set of infaceuticals, but it's called ED13 or Immunity. If you guys want to check this out, this is an infaceutical right here, and what this is, is uh, it's salt water that has information imprinted onto it. So they have an imprinter at Nest Health. It has information that will, it sends into the water on an energy wave or with a really, really strong energy wave. And the water holds information like a computer chip. And I don't know if you've heard of the work of Dr. Emoji in Japan, but he found that water has a memory and you can program information into water. And then if you drink this water and which I do this every morning, I do uh, three little dropper folds, which is about 15 drops in my mouth that imparts this information to my immune system. And it, it, it sends almost like correct operating instructions to my immune system and creates this kind of vibration or frequency. And then your immune system also picks that up and starts vibrating at the correct frequency. And that helps to correct your immune system's energetic functioning. And then you have, co and then that corrects your physical functioning of your immune system. That's essentially the concept, that's how it works. This is not homeopathy, that's not what this is. This is a specific, uh, like specific correct information that's put into the water that can then be transferred to your body by drinking the, the infaceutical. And some people are so sensitive, they only need one drop of an infaceutical and that's all they can handle. Um, that's all they can do. I mean, I've been doing this for a while, but um, so I take about 15 drops. I used to do 28 drops uh, every day of each infaceutical, but I realized that 15 drops is enough, and so that's what I do. And then I'm also taking um, some Mitotox. Uh, we don't have this available in the store anymore, but I'm just finishing up my bottle of this. This came up my scan that I needed. Uh, I'm doing Spleen, which is your acquired immunity. This is my last scan. I had some immune stuff come up. So spleen is your acquired immunity. I needed some work on my spleen. And then also my stomach came up as well, which sometimes when people have blood sugar issues, they're, they're diabetic um, or they're pre-diabetic or having blood sugar control issues, that there'll be an energetic block in the stomach, which needs to be cleared. And so I've definitely been having some blood sugar stuff going on, but it's I've been working really hard on it and it's uh, a lot better um, but definitely, I, I use Nest to help. It's, Nest is really the first thing that I do. It's like this foundational thing that I do to look at what's going on with me, 
and get a protocol to quickly address it. So after you do a scan, you know, you're recommended your little infasuticals that you need. Then you, oh, you know what? Sorry, I'm so shocked. Sorry, I could have done this the whole time. Um, so these are my infasuticals that I need here. And um, then you just order these. They show up in about three to five business days. And you just take those for a few weeks. They really do work their magic in about three weeks. And you don't really need them anymore after that. Three weeks, you're done. And then um, in each bottle of infasuticals costs about $30. So the infasuticals for like this program would be $150. And then um, and the scan is about, to do rescans is about $99. So if you think about it, 200, you, need, and you have to do a scan every month, essentially. So once you do one scan, you can do that just to try it out, see if it resonates with you, see what your information is in the scan, and give yourself some information to work with. Um, but if you want to continue doing it, if you, you like it, it resonates with you, you can join our, we have a Facebook group you can join for Nest Health clients. They can ask questions and talk with other people about their results also. You can join that right now, actually. It's uh, open to anyone. Um, it's called Nest Health Client Support by Myers Detox. You guys can go, go join that if you like. And um, so once, and so when you do this protocol, it's about roughly $250 a month. You, it can be less too, you can just do three infasuticals if you want, if you're kind of on a budget. But $250 a month compared to doctor's visits and supplements, functional medical testing, and, and all the other things that we do for our health is with all the different tests that you basically get in the scan, I mean, it's relatively so much less expensive. And um, and for me, I almost, and I'm not telling people not to do functional medical tests, but I, am, I almost don't do any tests anymore because I get so much information out of the scan. And, and bioenergetics, working in your energy field and correcting issues that you find in your energy field, correct physical functioning. And that is the most you know, true underlying root cause of any issue that you have. You know, if you have a health issue, you want to make sure that you are working bioenergetically, um, especially if you have a weak immune system or you have a lot of food sensitivities or you're worried about strengthening your immune system because of this looming viral threat that's out there. I know, I don't know about you guys, but I'm really focusing on my immunity right now, just laser light focused on everything that I can do to correct my immune system functioning and make it as strong as possible. And you can see in my scan, I don't have any, any immune system stuff going on right now because I've been focusing on taking a lot of immune support supplements, a lot of liposomal vitamin C and elderberry, and I'm taking this really good uh, silver that's like, killing all kinds of bacteria and you know any infections that I might have. And, um, and I got, you know, just, I'm just focusing on my immune system and doing infrared saunas. Like here's my infrared sauna right there. You guys can see my sauna fix. Um, but you know, but doing this Nest Health program is very, very much a foundational part of my my health routine, and it's what I always go to anytime I have something going on, or maybe I'm just I feel stressed, or maybe um, I just you know, something's just going on with me, I'll do a scan and follow the scan, do the protocol in the scan. And I also have um, a My Health device. Of course, I don't have it here right now. There's a My Health device also based on the scan. Um, you can get uh, recommendations for uh, like settings you can do on this My Health device. It's kind of like an iPhone, but it sends information on the energy waves and, and then so it wants me to do so these six settings on my my health, and if I do those settings, like one here, I it's for kidney function. One is for the trigeminal nerve, which is a nerve in your head right here. One is for my heart, and one is for my thoracic spine. And so, and that's where the scan has flagged me to have energetic blocks or just something going on that's hindering physical functioning, essentially, in my body. 
and um, and it, and you know finding energetic blocks on my meridians, which then can be cleared. And so, uh, so it's a lot of acupuncturists use this uh, kind of system. A lot of um, you know medical doctors use this system. I know a plastic surgeon that uses it to reduce pain in his clients. Uh, different practitioners from all walks of life use Nest Health because it just gives you such a wealth of information on every level of your health. Uh, you know, you can see your food sensitivities, you can see all of your toxins your body's not dealing well uh, with, that's not metabolizing those toxins well, you can see your EMFs that you're sensitive to, you can see your circadian rhythms. You can see if you're grounded or not, which is really important to be healthy. You can um, you can see your um, immune system threats, like kind of any kind of cold flus or like funguses or bacteria or other infections your body may be dealing with. You can see if you know one or more of your organ systems are compromised. You can see if you have emotional trauma, and all these things will at some on some level impact your immune health because you like you only have so much energy in your body and your immune system takes a lot of energy to function so if you're chronically fatigued your immune system is going to be compromised if you don't if you can't sleep well because of whatever's going on with you nest health helps you dramatically to improve sleep and this is evidence because when you first start doing this within the first 30 days you start having really vivid dreams and that's not just you dreaming, um, that's Nest Health causing you to sleep much, much better by correcting your circadian rhythm function. And then you start remembering your dreams. When you're sleeping deeper, you remember your dreams. And, uh, and because of that, you end up having better nutrient absorption, better, um, better, more energy to power your immune system. You have to sleep to create antigens to uh, kill viruses. And it's, research shows this, that if you don't sleep, you have less antigen produ uh, production and then less protection and defenses against viral threats. So sleep is super important. A lot of people struggle with this. A lot of people try all these different physical, uh, all these different physical things like taking the sleeping pills, taking valerian or taking different supplements and, and melatonin. Some of those things don't work for people. And it's really can just be their, their circadian rhythms need to be fixed. And the efficiency um, of them processing energy or burning fat while they're sleeping or whatever that issue may be, the Nest Health scan can detect what's going on exactly and do a protocol to correct that. And so it just works on so many different levels. And I think is really for anyone who has immune system functioning issues, like if you have allergies or asthma or food sensitivities or you have an autoimmune issue or you just kind of get sick you get sick all the time you catch everything um, if this kind of rings true for you nest health is something that I recommend to all of my clients that have compromised immunity in in many different ways or one or more different ways because it's one of the most elegant ways to truly address and correct immune system functioning and you just you can't do that just with supplements um i don't know if you guys have tried that but you can't just constantly take vitamin c and echinacea and golden seal and and all these different things that people try to take to boost up their immunity it doesn't address the and improve the underlying functioning of the immune system it can boost it up certainly absolutely but you know, you want to address the body on the physical level. You do have to take nutrients. You do have to eat good food. Um, you do have to try to sleep and have good, you know, sleep hygiene habits and whatnot. You know, Nest Health is not going to make up for a bad lifestyle. Just nothing will. Um, so you have to do all those things. But if you're doing all those things and you're still having issues, you need to go a layer deeper. You need to really get to the underlying root cause, which is your body's energetic function. And so, and this is this is what I use personally. This is what I recommend to all my clients if I can convince them to do it. Um, but because uh, it, it can take a minute for for people to get their head around, you know, like how does this scan get all this information? 
so quickly. It just seems like too good to be true. Well, NetSouth has been around for 15 years, and they've been, you know, like I said, really on the forefront of bioenergetics and in helping people, uh, very, very sick people, chronically fatigued people, people that are bedridden, people that are extremely ill, come back from that because it addresses so many different things at the same time with this very simple scan and very simple protocol. Even this is what I recommend for children also because children, um, you know, a lot of times, especially if they're very young, they're not gonna take a bunch of supplements. They're not gonna let you draw their blood to do a lot of different tests. Um, and they're not gonna take a bunch of supplements, even detox supplements. And the Nest Health scan, babies can do it. Anybody can do a scan. Even we have even have pets doing scans. You know, we have a veterinarian also on staff that does scans for, for pets, any kind of animal. You know, horses, birds, cats, dogs, any kind of animal can do a scan. Um, I used to do it on my dogs also. Um, but so so a lot of you guys might be wondering, so what is bioenergetics? Like how does that work exactly? Well we everyone has an has an energy field and most of the communication in your body happens in your body's energy field so you have physical communication so you have neurotransmitters and you have hormones and you have a nervous system you have, you know central nervous system your brain sends signals on the on your nerves you know along you know to every tip of your body or every part of your body um but a lot of the a lot of the uh, interactions that happen, or a lot, all the different communications that happen, or energy that is used, or just the trillions of transactions and things that are happening every second in your body, cannot be accounted for just with these physical communication methods, like the hormones and neurotransmitters, et cetera. The amount of energy your mitochondria make um, with all the energy it takes to run all of these different processes, the and there's been scientists that have done calculations, that the mitochondria don't make enough energy to power all these different things that happen in the body. It isn't possible. Um, so what's happening is that you have this energy field where energy is generated, you can feed energy to that energy field, EMF can drain that energy and that energy field. EMF can and really throw a wrench into the communication that's happening in that energy field. And you can uh, detect energetic blocks in different parts of your body, different organs in your body, different meridian and your chakras, which can be seen on the scan. Detect these energetic blocks, do a protocol to clear them, and that restores communication. And then that will restore physical function. And not right away, but you know, you have with each scan, you peel away another layer of the onion um, because you can't fix everything at once. You know, the scan gives you about you know six or five or six pharmaceutical recommendations here. <coughs> so it, you know, for me, it wants me to do my cells, my triple burner meridian, which is my thyroid. Maybe working on some circulation, which is the lungs and the heart. I need, I need to work out more. And these are two emotional trauma in pharmaceuticals. That's one thing for me. I felt like I was super, super healthy, but I just wanted something to work on emotional trauma, on feeling better. I felt like I had this amazing life, but I always just felt kind of uh, just kind of blah for for a while. I didn't feel I didn't feel like I experienced joy like I do now. Um, so for me, uh, I was just trying to figure out some way to access joy, some way to detox my ex-husband or detox my past or things that had happened to me in my past. And I wasn't really sure how to do that. And so with Ness, it just gave me like a really elegant, easy way to, to accomplish dealing with emotional trauma. And so, um, so in taking these pharmaceuticals, it helps to address these priorities in your scan that the scan has seen that you need to, to deal with right now. And then you, you take those if the a few months, then you do another another scan, and you'll have new priorities you need to address. Take the pharmaceuticals, do a new scan, you'll have new priorities to address. So every month you're just peeling away 
every layer of this onion bit by bit. And then and you find very quickly, or relatively compared to other protocols, that you start feeling better and better and better. And that was the case with me. I felt like I was, within that first month, I was sleeping better. I was having really vivid dreams. I was just processing a lot of stuff in my dreams, releasing trauma in my dreams. I had a little bit better energy, a little bit better mood, um, and I just felt more, more less stressed. I felt more grounded. Um, and I saw on my hair mineral analyses, not only mine, but clients as well, that, you know, when you do a hair mineral analysis, typically the minerals don't, don't really move much, typically. But after I did a nest scan, all of my minerals went up. I couldn't believe it because I've been doing hair testing, hair mineral analysis for, for years, uh, for really about at least six or seven years before I, I did a nest, nest scan. And then all of a sudden, all my minerals went up after I've, I've done nests for about three or four months at that time. And I was really surprised. I had one of the best hair tests I had in a long time. And then I kept seeing this with clients also that I'd been doing hair mineral analyses with. And then all of a sudden, after doing nests for a few months, they did another hair test and all their mineral levels went up. And I had never seen anything like this. And then I kept seeing this with client after client after client after client. And then I and I and I'd never seen this. And I realized it was Ness. It was because Ness was clearing um, stressors, emotional trauma, not sleeping well, um, uh, you know, improved ability to detox uh, toxins, um, you know, just improving the ability to absorb nutrients, clearing you know, energetic blocks in the digestive tract, whether it's in the, the stomach or the small intestine, the large intestine, or wherever they are in your body, your pancreas, your liver for digestive juices. Um, by addressing all these things, people's nutrient levels dramatically went up. And I don't know of many ways to do that. I mean, I worked with a lot of people doing the bone broth and doing the glutamine and doing the you know, all these different gut healing protocols and supplements. And I, I haven't really seen a lot of stuff work all that great. Or if it does work, it takes a really long time. And with Ness, this can be done in a matter of months. And so, and not only that, but you're addressing so many different things. And so for me, Ness Health is just, there just isn't much that compares with it. And not only that, a lot of you guys, you know, follow me because you're interested in learning about heavy metal detoxification and chemical detoxification. Well, this facilitates that. This helps your body detox. This gets your liver functioning better, your colon functioning better, your skin, which is another mode of you know, toxins come out of your body when you're sweating, doing infrared saunas. Um, it improves your kidney functioning, all the different, and your lymph functioning, all the different pathways of elimination can be approved in addition to your ability to detox. And a lot of people have trouble with that, especially some people that have tried a lot of different things. They're trying a lot of different protocols and supplements. They just keep getting sicker and sicker and sicker, and they just feel like nothing has worked for them. Nest Health gives them that breakthrough. Nest Health, Nest Health helps them make that shift that they need to finally feel better, to finally overcome their chronic fatigue, and to be able to take supplements or eat foods that they weren't able to before because their immune system is overreacting. Um, so uh, for me, it, I just love that so much, and so I keep talking to you guys about it. But let's get to your guys' questions here. Um, so first question, so Michael Denunzio, Denunzio how are you? So do you still recommend Catalyst Foundation to still have a place in your detox protocol? Yeah, of course. So they don't make Catalyst Foundation anymore. Um, but uh, yeah, if you still have some Catalyst Foundation, fantastic. You, For anyone that is wanting to detox, you have to clear your detox pathways. So those are your lymph, uh, your liver functioning, your kidney functioning. We want to get infections out of the body. Because any type of infection, whether it's going to be mold, well, the molds release mycotoxins. Parasites release parasite poop. Um, candida releases aldehydes and other toxins. So every kind of infection that someone can have has its own host of toxins that it releases. 
And that stuffs up your detox pathways. When your body is having to deal with that, when your liver is having to break all this stuff down, it is an impediment in your ability to detox. That's why a lot of people try to detox, they don't feel well, they can't do it. Um, so you want to clear the terrain, so to speak. When, uh, when it's kind of like a pre-talk, so a part of prepping your body to, to detox metals and chemicals. The same concept can be utilized when it comes to immune functioning. So what I'm focusing on right now with this looming viral threat out there um, and I'm not worried about the coronavirus so much. I mean, it's, you know, it is uh, killing a lot of people, but, you know, uh, it, it's, it's just a little bit more deadly than the flu. Um, it is very, very contagious. Uh, but for me, I'm not worried about getting uh, the coronavirus. Um, I just want to, for me, I'm just focusing on strengthening my immune system as much as possible. That includes doing NES, being really dedicated to my NES program, taking my, my infoceuticals every day, which is the, the protocol to address the issues you find in the NES bioenergetic scan, doing my My Health device, which I don't have here, but it looks like a little iPhone that you, you, put, you just put it on your body in different places, and you, the scan tells you where to place it, um, and then taking my immune-boosting supplements, and also... I still have my Catalyst Foundation. I, I do take that every single day I've been taking it. I take Catalyst Foundation in the morning to clear my terrain, get rid of any infections that I might have that are taking up immune system bandwidth. In the evening, I take a colloidal silver, and that's also clearing infections that I have. Colloidal silver also is known to kill the, the virus. Um, because it's a lot of different colloidal silvers kill the SARS virus and kill the MRSA virus, which are coronaviruses. And so I don't see why they wouldn't also address this new viral outbreak that's happening. Um, so uh, as far as, um, so that, that's kind of like my, what I'm doing, what I recommend people do. Clear the terrain so that your immune system is hyper ready for any other viral threat or attack that it may be dealing with at some point. And that's the best that you can do because there isn't any cure for this. Um, you know, it's very, very contagious. So this is this is the best that I can offer you guys. Um, but so, but Nest Health is very, very cutting edge in how it addresses your, your immune system functioning and boosting your immune system functioning, giving it correct operating instructions. Um, but just on a side note for the Catalyst Foundation, there is another product online. It's um, in my store. It's called Solaris. It's a, it's a very, very, very similar product. It's not the exact same product, but it's exact. It's very, very close. It's using the plant esters, and it's using uh, modified essential oil. So that is that is available in my store. Um, if you guys want this link, I'll give it to you. This is one of the things that I recommend. Uh, for uh, this viral threat is this is one of the ways that you can you know clear your terrain to a certain degree because this really nothing can be immune to this stuff so it's called Solaris and um, I take a uh, one dropper full um, a day uh, to, to clear infections so I'll, I'll give you guys that link right there so that uh, th this is what I'm doing every morning so I've, I've switched my recommendation to Solaris. You want to try that. Uh, so Barbara, Barbara Hill, thanks for joining me. <coughs> so you ask, are some people more sensitive to EMFs from cell phones, Wi-Fi, et cetera, and others more badly impacted by radio frequencies or dirty electricity, or does it just depend on the signal strength? Uh, like, is it all generic radiation? So I was covered for EMFs through Ethernet wiring and other strategies I employed, but when smart meters were introduced into my apartment building, none of this helped. The bottom line is, do devices that protect you from EMFs automatically protect you from RF and um, radio frequencies and dirty electricity, or they, do they require a different approach? Yes, so these are all different uh, things. So yes. Some people are more sensitive to EMFs than other people. So um, 
it just depends. So people that are very heavy metal toxic, they tend to attract EMFs. The, you know, the, the radio waves and frequencies are just attracted to metals. So people that are more metal toxic will be dealing with more EMFs and they'll perhaps more you know, issues with that, sensitivities. Some people are just very energetically sensitive. They can just feel everything around them. Um, and they're just, um, and I think a lot of people that are addicts are people that tend to be very uh, EMF sensitive or very, very energetically sensitive. And they just will take things to numb them. These are very incredibly sensitive, feeling human beings. And they just can't take it. So they numb out uh, in, in that way. Um, but yeah, but there's like like anything, there's a whole spectrum of people on the EMF sensitivity spectrum. Some people it just doesn't bother them at all, and other people it really bothers them. And so, so when it comes to EMF protection, oh, well, one thing I like about this scan, this Nest Health scan, I'll just point this out for two seconds, <coughs> is that you can see in this environment screen what types of EMF you're sensitive to. So I'm just sensitive to EMFs in general. And um, far infrared bugs me, which is a type of frequency. And then blue light's bothering me also. But I'm a little bit, my computer's bugging me a little bit in microwaves. <coughs> and it also lists radio waves here and cell phones and nuclear radiation as well. So. With that information, it's pretty interesting um, because you can figure out what type of EMF is bothering you. And so now, you know, when blue light comes up, I, I just kind of work on, I've got to wear my little blue light blocking glasses. Sometimes I forget and I, I can't find them. But this kind of, you know, tells me, hello, it's time to, you know, you've got to wear those because it's bothering, bothering me. When the EMF comes up, you know, I for me, I always wear my Harmony Pendant. This is a, a fantastic EMF protector because, like you said, you you employed something. Uh, you know, you covered. You thought you covered your EMFs with you know just hard wiring your computer so you're not wireless. Well, that's great. That's one step. Everyone needs to do that. But your neighbors have Wi-Fi internet. Everyone in your apartment building. Everyone in your office. All of them, and if you walk out of your house, you're bombarded by Wi-Fi constantly. And if, you're, uh, if your electricity wiring wasn't done properly, it's really, really old, or it's not grounded properly, which the electric electrical systems in the U.S. are terrible. In Europe, they're much more sophisticated. There. It's a lot of the electricity in the walls is much more grounded. Um, and so, but in the U.S., unfortunately, our electrical system leaches a lot of dirty electricity out of electric sockets. It can be out of the wall, especially if you have an electric panel right outside your bedroom. That's a disaster waiting to happen. And for you, you said your apartment building introduced smart meters. Well, guess what? Some of those smart meters, every few seconds, emit a signal 25 miles that can reach 25 miles from one meter. Can you imagine what that's doing to your sleep, to your energy field, to your brain functioning, to your immunity? immunity? It's not good. So um, what I recommend to people is the simplest thing people can do, number one, my Harmony Pendant will help to protect for about up to 88% of EMF. It's not 100%. But it's a start, and it's something that you can wear, and it goes everywhere with you. And so it's just the easiest, probably least expensive thing you can do. The next thing I recommend people do is do a Nest Health scan, see what EMFs you're sensitive to. And I usually have all my clients take something called polarity. Polarity is an emphaceutical that corrects to the charge on your body. So even if EMF is kind of wi frying you and creating this positive charge on your body, you can counteract that with the Nest Polarity Infaceutical. Um, I also recommend this Wata. This is probably one of the top weapons I have against EMF damage, 
against this viral threat, this viral outbreak that we were faced with. And by the way, the CDC announced today that in the U.S. we will have outbreaks and people need, need to get prepared. Just FYI, if you weren't aware of that, go on the CDC website and look at that, that uh, alert for yourself because that happened today. I went to Target today to do the last of my preparations. But I got the last of the stuff I needed so I don't ever have to leave my house again for the next six months if I don't, if I have to. And, uh, and there was tons of people in there doing the supermarket suite, getting toilet paper and food and stocking up, preparing. But anyway, so the Watab, this, uh, this is just absolutely phenomenal. You can get this on aquanew.com. Use the code energywater to get a few dollars off a case. And so this, this has like the gaseous state of water in, it's like the gaseous state of water in the fifth state of water infused into this like purified water. And so this gaseous state of water, which is the fifth phase of water actually, gives your body tons of electrons, tons of oxygen that kills bacteria and pathogens, tons of hydrogen that gets your cells working properly, and your, you know, your cells detoxing better, and, um, and this reverses, it corrects your polarity. It, with EMF causing this positive charge on your body, this fights back and creates the negative charge on your body that you need to be in place because EMF dehydrates your cells. And if your body is dehydrated and you don't have enough oxygen in your tissues, you're not gonna be, you're not gonna stand up to a virus. You know, you're not going to, to fare as well as if you had this kind of super hydration and oxygen and hydrogen and electrons in place in your body. It's just, this stuff is phenomenal. Um, but apart from that, uh, by also looking at your body's immune system functioning, that like this energetic immunity screen here, and correcting the issues with your body's energetic immunity, you, you just have so much more of an advantage over other people, for instance, um, in being able to address this true underlying root cause to uh, of like poor immune system functioning. And Ness gives you this opportunity, this way to improve the body's immune system function in a way that I've never seen before. I've never seen anything that looks at the immune system on so many different levels, looks at all these different immunity threats, toxins, food sensitivities, and just overall immune system functioning to correct its functioning. It's just, it's just really phenomenal. And this is so foundational. It's something that people need to be doing to protect themselves, to just do everything they can given our current kind of situation in the planet right now. And we're all in this together. I mean, every, I just, I'm concerned that every country in the world is going to be dealing with this viral outbreak. And we're no exception. The reason that we have, we don't have that many cases is because nobody is being tested. If you look on the CDC website, 400, only 400 and 14 people have been tested out of 350 million people. Why do you think that is? All the test kits are faulty. All the coronavirus test kits that were sent out are faulty. And so no one is being tested. Yes, states can send test kits to the CDC and get tested, but the, the um, current guidelines for testing are really to the point where almost nobody would be tested. Because the guidelines state, if someone's going to be tested for the coronavirus, they need to have either had contact with someone from China or someone who's had contact with someone from China. Well, we already know that there's person-to-person -person transmission and people may not even know they've been in contact with someone that's had, had the virus or been from China. So they're not going to be tested. I know because I have some friends in Louisiana that deathly ill with a, a flu where they were vomiting and that could be coronavirus and they were not tested. They even asked to be tested. They said, we're not testing for coronavirus. 
And so I think this is playing out in uh, all over the country. Only three states right now are testing for coronavirus. I, I know it's California and Washington and one other state, but the other, I think Illinois, Chicago, because there's a, I think there's an outbreak in Chicago, but, um, and, and there's 7,500 people right now on watch in California, but none of them are being tested. People in Washington state uh, quarantined for two weeks, none of them were tested, and they were taken off of quarantine. I mean, I just, it's a, a recipe for disaster. I just think that our country is grossly mismanaging. They're fumbling every single opportunity of containment of this virus that could have been had it just fumbled. And so right now, the reason the tests, uh, the cases of coronavirus are so low in the US is for these reasons. So don't be fooled. You need to be doing things right now to, uh, to improve your immune system as much as possible. And so I did, uh, uh, I've done some videos, you know, recently about supplements you can use to boost your immune system, which is great, great, great advice. I'm taking all these supplements that I recommended to you guys. You guys can see those videos on my YouTube channel um, on uh, youtube.com slash Wendy Myers. But the Nest Health program is one of the, the best ways, that, one of the only ways that I know of to very simply, inexpensively, and quickly address a lot of different facets of your immune system functioning and uh, correct its function by sending it correct operating instructions, so to speak, with these emphaceuticals. So... Um, so next question here. So Barbara Hill, so are all the sensitivities that show up in your body scan things that your body has already been exposed to and have not been able to resolve, or does it just show what to avoid, whether you've been exposed or not? Um, so it has nothing to do with exposure. Um, so you, you could have maybe not eaten a food for a year, and it still shows up as something that's problematic for you because your, um, your immune system... Um, can generate a response to, let's like, say, gluten, for instance. Um, so it has nothing to do with exposure. It just has to do with when you're sensitive to a food that resonates at a certain frequency, which is being measured by Nest Health, uh, by the Nest Health scan, the, the biofeedback scan. Um, and so, and that gives you a clue as to what you should be avoiding. Um, if, like for me, millet and spelt showed up. So I'm going to be avoiding those like the plague. Because if you eat foods you're sensitive to, that can cause inflammation and, and use up your immune system resources for no reason whatsoever. And so I, do, I don't want that happening. I want my every aspect of my immune system firing on all cylinders without any waste and bandwidth whatsoever. And so Nest Health is my kind of secret weapon in, in accomplishing that. Um, so Jennifer Urban, so for example, in the nutritional profile, something is purple, couldn't it also mean that you have too much of that mineral or vitamin just as much as it can mean that you need more? So no, so how you interpret this Nest scan, and I'll go back to one of these nutrition screens, is when uh, you have something showing up here, riboflavin, it means that your body is having trouble absorbing it or metabolizing it or utilizing it. And, um, and so it's a sign that you're probably deficient in it because your body can't is having trouble utilizing it. So I use that to guide supplementation, but I do the Nest Health protocol because it will correct that issue. It will correct whatever problem is going on that's impeding the ability for me of riboflavin to be utilized and absorbed and metabolized. So it's not about an excess of that. So this scan does it, is not looking at excesses, unfortunately. Um, so let's see. So Barbara, so does the price for the Nest Health scanner include the scanner itself, or is it just the price for one scan? So in this um, this offer that I'm talking to you guys about, so the, to try a Nest Health bioenergetic scan, right now it's normally $299, but you can get it for about $224, so about $75 off. That includes the scanner, which is sent to you, which you can use over and over and over again for you and your whole family and your pets. Um, it includes a one-hour consult to go over your scan, and it includes the scan. You just you do the, use a scanner, do the scan, and you get a one-hour consult to go over the scan and kind of just teach you about 
these different concepts and this way that your body actually works that you may not have ever heard of. But it's important to know if you're interested in your health, you need to know about bioenergetics because this is the wave of the future. This is how many, many different health issues will be addressed more and more so in the future. Um, and it's just really exciting cutting edge uh, science, yeah, how it works. Um, yeah, so so 224, I get to the scanner, the scan, and a one hour consult with a mess health practitioner. So it's pretty cool, pretty cool deal. And um, so so a lot of practitioners charge more than that per hour just to, to chat with them and consult with them. That's not even any tests or anything. So this is a, a really good deal. Um, so Terry Thomas, so I'm ready to do your protocol that starts in March. And I know that I'm very high in lead. When I call, I was told to do daily detox, wait one hour, and then do citra cleanse. Then a month later, I called and was told to do citra cleanse first in the morning, wait one hour, and then take mitotoxin silica. So uh, what is and when the best time to take your supplements? So it, does, it doesn't matter. So when you're taking the supplements, like you're taking the citra cleanse, the daily detox, it doesn't matter what order you take them in. Just in general, the my citra cleanse binder here this binder, you know, you just want to take it an hour, generally 30 minutes to an hour away from other supplements. So you can take the citra cleanse before daily detox or take daily detox first and take it after, an hour after. It depends on your schedule and your preference. So, um, it, so it really is up to your schedule and what works for you. Um, and so it, it really doesn't matter, to be honest with you. Uh, so Terry Thomas, so when I'm trying to detox, can I take BIND, which is from Systemic Formulas, uh, and then DMSA 100 milligrams when I took, when I did a urine detox? Yes, you can. Absolutely. I mean, I'm not, you know, there's lots of great binders out there. I mean, uh, I like Citra Plans. I think it's really, really gentle. I try not to do charcoal. I don't recommend that every single day, which is one of the main ing ingredients in BIND. But it's fine to, to even rotate binders. So you can take citra cleanse one day and then a charcoal the next or the bind the next. And um, you know, you can rotate things. I think that's that's a great scenario also. Use up what you have. But I created this, this is what I take because um, it just covers a lot of bases with one product with uh, binding up toxins. And, um, and then you said DMSA 100 milligrams. Yeah, you can take that. It just depends. Like usually the over-the-counter DMSAs that you buy online really are not very effective at all. They, they do a little bit of movement. They do help, but they're not really moving the needle that much. I've experimented with a lot of different DMSAs. I've never found one that I bought online that really moved the needle very much. But at least they're gentle. Um, cause I think there's better ways to detox than using DMSA. I think DMSA can be very harsh and there's just better ways to go about uh, detoxing the body. Um, but hundred milligrams really isn't going to do much damage. Um, so Barbara Hill, so, um, how much do these energizer, energized bottles of, uh, waters cost? So these are $30 each. So you can do three, four or five of the infaceuticals per month. That's all you need. You know, more isn't, more infaceuticals isn't more, you know, Ness is just like anything. Your body can only handle so much information at, on, in one given day. So doing more infaceuticals doesn't help you more. So you want to, you know, limit the amount of like information you're sending to it in, with these infaceuticals. So uh, here I'm taking four infaceuticals. These are what I, I'm taking right now. I usually take about four or five infaceuticals. Um, sometimes I have these other ones that I take. Uh, they're called brain infaceuticals. It's these four ones here. There's one for feeling, one for decisions, learning, and connections. And these just help your brain to work better and work more efficiently. And wow, do they work. So whenever I'm, I'm doing some writing or some really important speaking or I'm on a really big podcast or something, I want my brain working really, really well. I take these four infaceuticals and they deliver every single time. Um, so on, on my store, store.myrcdetox.com, we have a brain infaceuticals kit. It's called Limitless Brain Kit. So you can search for that on my store. Um, but they're roughly about $30 for each bottle. 
Um, so broader, so if you decided to do this twice a year, would it be $2.99? So each time plus the cost of the pharmaceuticals or are the follow-up scans less? So to start out doing uh, starting this, it's going to be $224 to get your scanner. And then every month after that, it can be just $99. That's the lowest price that we have. It is $99 to do a rescan. And then the infaceuticals are about $30 a month. So you could get away with doing it for a hundred and maybe $190 would be about the cheapest you could get away with doing it every month. But Nest doesn't work where it's something you can do twice a year. Nest Health, you want to be doing it once a month for at least six months. I, I encourage people to do it for at least six months because some people don't, they don't feel a lot. They don't feel a lot of changes right in the beginning. Some people do. It's like lightning struck them. Um, but even for me, it was a little bit subtle at first, though I felt a lot of improvements. But I didn't realize those improvements were from Ness or from Ness until I went to training. And then I realized all these kind of the deep sleep I was getting and the, the really vivid the, the dreams and kind of the uptick in my energy just you know, in my mood, I didn't realize that that was caused by Ness. And I think a lot of people also get certain improvements and they don't always give Ness the credit. So, uh, and to really start making strides, just like anything, you're not going to kind of have some miraculous turmoil in your health in two months. It doesn't matter what you're doing. <coughs> You know, Ness is like anything. You want to do it for at least six months, give it a chance, and then at that point decide if you want to continue. So I I encourage people to not even bother if you're just going to do it for a month or two. Um, but I, I encourage them to just try it. Try a scan for yourself. Just look at the information in the scan and how it correlates to your known physical health issues. And I think you're going to be really, really blown away by that, just like I was. But it's like anything, like you have to do healthy eating on a consistent basis. You have to do exercise on a consistent basis. You have to do nests on a consistent basis too, or you're not going to get the results that you're, you're looking for. Um, so, so Jen Gattermeyer, so could Ness Health help with PCOS? Absolutely, because PCOS um, in large part is caused by toxins. It's um, caused by hormonal imbalances. Um, there's a you know blood sugar sugar control component to that, but we know heavy metals definitely are a component mercury, cadmium, and lead in contributing to this uh, condition. And Ness Health helps on all those different fronts, and it can definitely help address a lot of the symptoms that people with PCOS suffer from. Um, so Ness Health does definitely. Um, helps with your hormonal balance as well, absolutely, because it's looking at clearing energetic blocks on your adrenal glands, on your sex organs, on your thyroid, and in just improving your body's functioning, you end up getting better hormone production as well, which is a big factor in some of the symptoms of PCOS. So absolutely, any kind of reproductive issue, yeah. It doesn't matter what the health issue is. So if you guys are saying, well, what does it help with this? And does it help with that? It doesn't matter what the disease label is. When you are improving the body's ability to function, you are going to improve um, health outcomes. You're going to improve symptoms. You're going to sleep better. You're going to have feel less stress, better digestion, better nutrient absorption, better detoxification, all which will improve outcomes no matter what that disease label is. Um, so Jennifer Jennings, I like that name. So thanks for your info on positive energy, Wendy. So well, how much of what brand of silver do you use? Thoughts on IV silver. Wow, IV silver. Gosh, I, I don't think I've ever heard of IV silver. <laughs> um, but I don't know if you've got a mainline silver. I think you can, um, silvers, you know, uh, with, with silver, you can just drink it. You can nebulize it. You can inhale it. And, and that will get it into your system. So you don't need an IV silver. All you need to do is either drink it or also inhale it through your sinuses and lungs, and it gets it gets into your system. So you don't have to do that. So 
Um, I like the Silver Rain Silver. This is a good one right here. This is Silver Rain Silver. Um, also, there's lots of different colloidal silvers on the market. I like MyDoctorSuggests.com. That one's really nice. Um, the Panna Silver Activation Products. That one's really, really nice, too. I don't know if you guys can see my screen there. Not cooperating. Oh, uh, you know what? I'm sorry. Let me switch this back here. Yeah, so I was saying the, the pan of silver right here is really, really good by Activation Products. And then I also like uh, the silver and silver is nice, you know, as well. And really any colloidal silver um, that's going to be small microns, you want to say, you know, two nanometers or, you know, just the, the colloidal, this silver and silver is 0.8 nanometers. So that's really, really small. That's going to kill a virus. Because any kind of virus is usually one one nanometer in size. You need to have a really really small particle size with your silver to kill the viruses. So, colloidal silver is probably one of the, the best things you can take to combat um, the virus. Uh, so, next question, Ellen Sullivan Mazone. So, is Catalyst also the same as Candida Crush? <laughs> yeah, they're made by the same company. It's the same kind of basic materials, but Candida Crush contains um, it contains like some garlic and oregano added to it so it just has some extra added components but the, the, the plant esters is the same uh, so Hennessy John so hi there so we want to order the liver detox plan and associated supplements unable to reach a live person to find this info so please give us a list of supplements needed so we can order all that's needed at once um, let's see. So, are you talking about the um, the fourteen day liver rehab cleanse? Because we want that. If you if you log into the portal, there's a, a list of supplements. Like the program guide has all the supplements in it that you need. Um, we don't have all of those available on our site. We have most of them, but not all of them because they're just things we don't carry. But if you call during working hours between uh, 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. Pacific, there is always someone answering the phone. So maybe you're just not calling in the right uh, time frame. Uh, so Barbara Hill, so can you buy the Nest Polarity Impaceutical without it even doing the scan? Yes, we have that Impaceutical on our website. Um, so I will give it to you guys right now. So you can get this uh, Polarity Impaceutical. Yes, it should be here. Yep, there it is. So this is the Infaceutical. You can just get this. You don't even have to do a scan. Um, but the polarity is really, really helpful uh, to counteract the effects of EMF and ground your body. So this is a, a really, really key thing. Um, and there's a few Infaceuticals on our store. If you type in Infoceuticals, and I've typed that word here uh, in the, the comments, uh, there's a lot of different infoceuticals that are available for purchase. Um, Nest Health has about, it's about 90 infoceuticals now. Most of them are only available based on a scan. So after you do a scan, then you're, we can order your customized infoceutical program. Um, some of the things you can buy, like some of the feel-good infoceuticals, like there's one called Chill that helps to relax you. There's one called EMF that helps to protect your body from EMF. The polarity helps to ground your body, which also helps to protect from EMF. <laughs> but the polarity also really helps to correct your body's charge, which helps you to protect you from viruses. Because viruses thrive in a positively charged body. Viruses will replicate faster, mutate faster. They thrive in that. So... You want to you want your body to be negatively charged, and so you can do that with the polarity infoceutical, doing a Nest Health program, um, protecting your your environment from EMF, and doing the drinking this water, and laying on the ground, uh, walking on the ground, swimming in the ocean. But doing those things, I think, um, aren't strong enough. Just doing a grounding pad or walking out in nature, or swimming in the ocean, I don't think those are strong enough to counteract all the stuff that is bombarding us, all this positive, you know, this wi fi that's happening that positively charges our bodies or has a, a positive effect on our bodies. We need something stronger to counteract that. And so these are, these are the tools that I use. I use the Harmony Pendant. 
I use the Wata and I use Nessel to do that. I use a, a PEMF now also. I use a Pure Wave. It's called the Pure Wave, purewavenow.com, I believe is the site. And I use a PEMF mat also because it helps clear off all the, just charges up your cells to the correct voltage. So I use that also. Um, so, uh, so, but we have other infaceuticals also. You can go in there and check them all out. There's a number of infaceuticals that are available. So Hennessy John, so $225 is a great deal. Yes, it is. So we're, I'm making that deal available because I want people to try this. There, I just love Ness so much. It's so incredible how it has revolutionized so many of my clients' health. I mean, clients that have come to me and they've been like 20 different doctors and tried all these different things and they were totally pessimistic but even said, I don't think this is going to work, but I'm just going to try it, you know, because... I haven't tried it before, and it's, I don't think it's going to work. And they do it, and they feel amazing after a few months, and they, they can't believe it. And they said, no, I really thought you were full of crap, <laughs> but I tried it because I trust you, and they felt better. And so uh, it just uh, really warms my heart when people just try this based on a recommendation and get the incredible results that so many people are, are getting. Because I, I literally have... We have thousands of people that have done a Nest Health program. I've met hundreds of people in person. I've been to three different Nest Health trainings and met hundreds of people that have unbelievable stories of recovery from serious autoimmune diseases, serious digestive issues. Even Harry Massey, the founder of himself, who founded the company, was in bed for seven years. And he envisioned this. He had a lot of time to think. But he envisioned this envision some, some sort of protocol that could help people anywhere in the globe that were homebound, that really couldn't get, get treatment, that couldn't, uh, couldn't go to a doctor, didn't have the money for the doctor, there, there wasn't any good doctors in their area. I mean, we have clients all over the world, people in, in Egypt, we even, even have people in North Korea trying to order these products and order my health and things like that. We help people all over the world. Uh, Nest Health is global. They've got um, offices all over the world. There's over, I mean, they, last time they've said 5,000 practitioners for a while, but I'm sure it's far more than that. They have, they've been around for 15 years. This is nothing new. It's just uh, not that many people know about it. Um, so uh, next question here. So Ellen O'Sullivan was zoned. So, I have heard different opinions about taking silver internally. What is your opinion on its ability to strip your gut of good bacteria? Is it okay to take every day? So silver is just like every other product. They're not all the same. They have a broad spectrum of quality and efficacy. So you can't throw the baby out with the bathwater. I hate that when I hear people saying, oh, silver just kills all your good gut bugs. Well, not all of them do. Um, and the reason is because some silvers are large particle size, which are, they can be 80 to 90 nanometers in size. Those will kill your gut bugs because they're really, really big. Um, but other particle sizes are really, really small. They can be two nanometers in size and they're not large enough to, to they're large enough to kill viruses, which are one, one membrane, you know, thick. but a good gut bug, your good bacteria won't be two or three membranes thick. And so the silver, that small silver, silver particle can't kill your good gut bugs and, and passes out of your body without harming anything, without harming the good gut bacteria. Um, and there are some colloidal silvers that are very bad, that can build up in your body, cause silver toxicity, damage your cells. So, you know, so I would not take silver every day you know, you want to be respectful of it. It is an antibiotic. It does kill pathogens. So it's something to be respected. Right now, I'm taking it on a daily basis because we have this looming viral threat. So I'm trying to clear my terrain. Um, anything that's kind of left, um, I'm taking the Solaris right now. It's the Solaris stuff. This is what I'm taking. I take this in the morning. And because it's it works differently, it's plant esters. It also doesn't kill your your bad gut bugs. So this is in my store also. 
I take Solaris in the morning, and then I, I take one to two dropperfuls, and in the evening I'm taking some colloidal silver, and I'm also nebulizing it as well. I, wish I, I, didn't, I don't have my nebulizer here, but it's just a little handheld little device where you can put a little bit of the silver in water, and you just breathe it in. It goes in all your sinuses and your lungs and kills everything in there as well. So I'm, I'm just good to go. If I get exposed, you know, I'm good. And silver is also one of those things that is, uh, can kill the coronavirus because uh, we have seen that silver can kill SARS, it can kill MRSA. But again, it's the, the type of silver matters. They're not all the same. But a good quality silver um, is going to be one of your best defenses um, if you are exposed uh, to this. And especially if you, whenever I'm going out and there's groups of people, um, I'm, I'm not going to be doing that for very much longer. I'm doing it to go to the grocery store. Like today I went to uh, my local grocery store to get food. I went to Trader Joe's to stock up on a bunch of stuff. I went to Target to uh, stock up on a bunch of stuff. And then I came home and I nebulized my portal silver to kill anything that I might have been exposed to or I wasn't aware of. But I'm not going to be going out in a large groups of people much more. But if I do, if I have to, for whatever reason, I'm going to be nebulizing the silver as a protective precautionary measure. Um, so, so John Hennessy, so do you sleep upstairs or on a ground floor three feet from the earth? So I sleep upstairs. Um, but, uh, you know, most people today are very far removed from sleeping on the ground because you know, our bodies evolved for millions of years to be, be grounded, to really be kind of matched with the Earth's magnetism, with the Earth's negative ions. So we all we slept on the ground, and our bodies were kind of charged up by that. We had this negative charge on our body, which we have evolved for millions of years to, to work that way. And so today in modern life, we're very far removed from that. We're not walking on the ground, much less sleeping on the ground. Most people aren't going to the beach and swimming in the ocean and walking barefoot. Um, so we have to do things to try to emulate, uh, to try to emulate the, the grounding that we're not getting, especially if you live in a high-rise building. Um, so uh, I don't sleep on a magnetico anymore. I used to. I used to, but um, I just decided for me, I do that my Pure Wave Now PEMF mat, I do that. It's kind of a grounding thing. It, it charges up my cells to the right degree. I use the this Wata water to ground my body. I use my Harmony pendant to maintain the, the correct charge on my body. Here's a little pendant here. Um, and I, use, I do Ness Health also, because that also helps to ground the body. So I have a few different tools um, but I don't use the Magnetico uh, any longer. I used to. I used to. So if you guys want to check out some the Wata, highly recommend this, aquanew.com. And um, use the, the code, go on here, uh, use code energy water. And um, I don't think it takes it off of your bill but they like refund it to you or something weird i don't know the, the store is not really set up so amazingly but if you do you'll get like three to three depending on what size case you buy you get three to five dollars off per case so they have like the half liter case you'll get three dollars off or the one liter case you'll get five dollars off so it's pretty good um and i think the shipping is what kind of kills most people because it's 12 bottles of heavy water so it just it costs money to ship it, but um, this stuff is is going to be saving people's lives. I'm not even, not even exaggerating. This this is so important. I can't even tell you. And you you can tell it's working when you first start drinking this. I mean, you are like, wow! You realize what you have been missing. You realize that you have not been hydrated. Your tissues have not been oxygenated. You have not been getting hydrogen into your cells because when you start drinking this, you are euphoric for about three or four days. I mean, just high on life because your your blood brain barrier is finally you're getting oxygen and electrons, and your body's working better. And man, it it's just really life changing. And, and I've just been feeling better and better and better 
since I've been drinking this water. So I, I ordered 30 cases, um, you know, just that I have stock just in case something happens that I can't, maybe the shipping stops or they, they stop making the water or whatever, whatever happens. Or, you know, because in China, a lot of shipping has been shut down because the industry has been shut down there. So I'm just stocking up on everything that I need just in case, you know. Because um, I am in, so the water is in plastic bottles. Yes, there's a reason for that. And that's a big beef with a lot of people. The reason is because glass steals electrons. So they cannot, and that, the same thing, that's why most colloidal silvers are in plastic bottles. They can't be in glass bottles because um, colloidal silvers have are charged. The particles are charged for them to work properly. And if they're put in glass, it dispels that charge and it doesn't work and it is good. So any really good quality colloidal silver is in plastic. <laughs> That's why. So plastic isn't always bad. There's a reason for that when it comes to some products. And with aqua, with the Wata, they can't package it in glass because it will destroy the properties of the water that while you're buying it in the first place. So it has to be packaged in plastic. So I don't worry about that. The benefits far, far outweigh any plastic that you might be, microplastic or something you might be getting. You're getting that anyways um, in the food and in other, other places. Uh, so it, that's just the least of my concerns personally. But that's why um, they don't have any choice. Um, yeah, so that's all the questions that you guys have. It's fantastic. So um, I'm going to wrap up now. We've been talking for about an hour and 40 minutes. And I'm going to go take care of my child and feed her, feed Winter. Um, so guys, thanks so much for tuning in. And uh, I encourage you guys to try Nest Health. You are going to be very, very, very surprised by what you see in the scan, just like I was. I still am surprised by this. I'm, I just, every time I do a scan, I'm just really, really blown away by how, how accurate it is. If I just recently had some sort of trauma, it shows up in the scan. Um, just different things that I know are happening to me are show up in the scan. It's just really uncanny. Um, let's see. So, so Ellen Mazone, so all those sobering silver is in glass. So yeah, that's my only beef with the sobering silver that it is in glass. Um, but it's one of those things that it is a good quality product, but I, I do prefer silvers that are in plastic. That's why I recommend the pan of silver also. Um, that you can see this here. It's just, it's ideal if a colloidal silver is in plastic. <coughs> A colloidal silver will still work if it's in glass. <coughs> it's just not going to be as effective as if it's in plastic. And you also don't want to use metal spoons to take it either. You want to make sure you use a wooden or a plastic spoon when you're taking a colloidal silver. Just hint, hint. Um, let's see, John Hennessy. So sounds like amp coil. So that's a different relic type of program. It's totally different. Um, Nest Health has different kind of proprietary information in it. So where they they uh, have just done all these different tests of all these different tissues and like a perfectly functioning liver and a perfectly functioning kidney and a perfectly functioning spleen. And that information is in the software and your scan is compared against that perfectly functioning body. The frequencies at which the liver is supposed to be vibrating out or what have you. So, uh, and a lot of different bioenergetic technologies, your scan is compared to other people's scans. So it's not as accurate. And there's a lot of different limitations to that type of information that you get. A lot of the issues with the accuracy of that type of information. And um, there's different issues we won't get into now with a lot of different types of bioenergetic programs or energetic modalities. But with Nest Health, your scan is being compared against a perfectly functioning energetic you know, field. Um, and not, not only that, but they have AI learning in their system. They have some artificial intelligence learning that's going on what, with all the thousands, tens of thousands of people that have doing the scans. They're using AI, AI technology to improve the outcomes, to improve the accuracy of the software. Like I said, they're very, very advanced in the things that they're doing. And um, it's just it's just really incredible when you you know if you're a part of NES, the things that you learn about it are just amazing. And I find a lot of people are so 
fascinated by it and so helped by it that they go on to become practitioners. I can't even tell you how many of my clients have gone on to become nest practitioners and done the nest training. It's, it's so fascinating. Uh, so Terry Thomas, so I'm doing the mitochondria detox. Is it the powder first in the morning and then the mitotoxin silica is taken with the acid like lemon 30 minutes later? I'm unclear on the guidelines to make sure this detox is effective. So, you know, there's instructions that come with a mitochondria detox. So the one page PDF with the instructions. So just follow those exactly. So ideally, you can take the citra cleanse first thing in the morning. And then you can also take the mitotox first thing in the morning with that. Because mitotox is a bioenergetic formula. So you can take it with the, the citra cleanse. It doesn't matter. And then take the silica about uh, 30 minutes to an hour later. You can also reverse those. It doesn't matter. You just generally want the citric ones about 30 minutes to an hour away from any other supplements, including my ageless AF silica or the activated silica, whichever one that you have. Um, so it it really doesn't matter the um, you know the the order in which you take it um, with whatever works for your lifestyle, whichever is easiest. But it does come with a one page PDF. If you don't have that, just email support at myrstetox.com and they will send it to you. Okay, so guys, so I'm for sure 100% now gonna sign off. Uh, if you guys wanna learn about my mitochondria detox, you can go to mitodetox.com, M-I-T-O-detox.com and learn about it there. So guys, thanks for tuning in. And um, and I just really appreciate this time if you guys uh, you know, taking your valuable time out to listen to me and hear what I have to say. Um, I love teaching you guys about health every week. So thank you for tuning in, and I hope this, this helps some of you guys to kind of reframe um, how you think about how your body works. I assure you it, it works far beyond just what's happening on the physical level. So thanks for tuning in. I'm Wendy Myers from MyersDetox.com. I'm here every Tuesday, 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern. Usually talk here for an hour, hour and a half. And the video always goes on YouTube at youtube.com slash Wendy Myers. You can find it there probably tomorrow or the next day. And uh, but you can, if you've you know, tuned in late, you can just hang out on Facebook. This video will be posted in the next couple of minutes after Facebook processes it. And you can watch it from the beginning as many times as you want. So thanks for tuning in, and I'll talk to you guys very soon.